You're watching Photowalks TV from O-H-I-O, -O, Columbus, Ohio. So is Columbus, Ohio worth visiting, the viewer asks? Well, of course it is. Talking the 14th largest city in the nation, home to one of the biggest campuses anywhere, the Ohio State University, a testing mecca for new food recipes, a great old downtown with a dynamic skyline, and some wonderful neighborhoods. But is Columbus a good place for a photo walk? No, it's not. It's a great one. Before we get there, a big thank you to support from Smug Mug, which offers unlimited online photo backup at better rates than the competition, plus the ability to sell prints and showcase your work in beautiful online galleries. Check out the free two-week trial at SmugMug.com. Now, I began by meeting the local photographer, Wendy Pramick, at the huge Midwest Photo Store, where before we took off, owner Moshe Applebaum put Columbus in perspective. I would describe Columbus as a really strong mix of big city and small town. Um, and everything around the edges and in the city, you get a really good mix of everything. Like a great old downtown, and on the flip side, those cool Columbus neighborhoods. Our photo walk began in the heart of downtown at the Ritz Street Bridge, which happens to be the perfect location to photograph the dynamic skyline, then on to the historic State House, then over to the University District known as Short North. This leads to the sprawling campus of The Ohio State University, one of the largest in the country. And from there, the historic small town feel of cobblestone streets and brick buildings in German Village. So here we are, Ritz Street, huh? Yep. Headed to Street. this bridge by the famous deer statue. That's right. We're going to go to the, the bridge spans the Scioto River, and we'll have a really nice look of uh, downtown Columbus. <laughs> but I just, I love things that are kind of a quirky yeah. um, juxtaposition, you know, with something that is just... Here, Wendy, really look this way. <laughs> Yay. We had fun taking pictures of the deer looking back at the city of Columbus and, of course, that wonderful skyline view, which all you have to do is go to the Ridge Street Bridge to get it. But as cool as it looked during the day, a lot better at night. I returned later just after sunset to get some night shots and to shoot a time lapse of the day turning to night. Really easy to do. Just put the iPhone on a tripod and click record and then just waited night or day which do you prefer ah. okay so this is the where we're going in here yep we're going to here the Levesque tower the Levesque tower oh, is you. easily the most recognizable star of the columbus skyline and it was originally built in art deco style back in 1927 today it's condo and apartment living with an adjacent hotel so next door and the remnants of the Art Deco style are as gorgeous to view as ever. So we're on the corner of High and Broad right now. We're just, um, we're going to cross here. We're going to... I see a lot of hair. Yes, I see a lot of hair. <laughs> yeah. We're going to pop into the State House right over here. Yeah, you can get a good view right there of the Hotel Lebec. Nice. You've photographed the State House before. For us to get the best shot from here, from over there, from down there, what do you like? Um, I always like to incorporate a corner of a building, you know, to give it some dimension. <laughs> You want to get a great shot at a state house dome. You're too high up, and I mean it, you're too high up. You've got to get all the way down on the ground. If you've seen other episodes of Photobox TV, you know I love the shot. Beautiful dome. Check it out. Come on, Wendy. The difference between um, standing up versus laying down on, on your back, you can get a lot more um, width. <laughs> Thank you.
The Short North Arts District got its nickname from local police as it was north of downtown and short of the Ohio State campus right up the road. A former area with derelict, boarded-up buildings, the city began revitalizing it in the late 1990s, returning the classic arches back to the street. Today, it's the place to go in Columbus for drinking, dining, shopping, and seeing art. Wendy particularly liked pointing out the many murals and how many of them feature characters that are either sideways or upside down. The woman from the American Gothic painting, who was seen upside down, is featured on the wall of Jenny's Splendid Ice Cream, a locally based ice cream establishment known for their offbeat, unique flavors. As with the bridge and the skyline, Short North really comes alive at night, as you can see in these photos. Now, as much as I love the Short North, the highlight of Columbus for me is German Village, another revitalized neighborhood which harkens back to the days when immigrant Germans made up one third of the local population. This is no theme park. Walking down these cobblestone streets and marveling at the old brick homes is a lot of fun. And what a backdrop for a photo walk, huh? Food is usually the main attraction here, and Schmidt's Restaurant and Sausage House is usually the first stop for authentic fare. We had a sausage sampler, and it was yummy. The other attraction, beyond just getting lost in the streets, is the Book Loft, a thriving bookstore with some 32 rooms of books. As you can see, Columbus is indeed very photogenic and a fun place to visit. Love that German village. So say it along with me, everybody. O-H-I-O, -O, Ohio. I'm Jefferson Graham. If you haven't already, please do me a favor and subscribe to the PhotoWalks TV channel right here on YouTube, as well as the newsletter, jeffersongram.substack.com. For more information about Columbus, check out the PhotoWalksTV.com blog. Stay tuned. There are many more episodes coming your way. I'll see you on the next PhotoWalk, everyone. Bye-bye. <laughs>